All right, let's do this. World and syndrome. And then. Update that. And we are dandy. The uh, capture card isn't showing the game or the switch still. Hey, there we go. All right, we're back. Holy crap, that was insane. Um, it better have saved the progress. Stupid power cycle stuff, so... Heck a thing would work. All right. Please, oh please, oh please, don't remake me have to do all this stuff. This game is interesting. Uh, I'm still confused if it's... A horror game or what's going on? Um, no, ah, don't. No, I was loading it. Oh, it doesn't start it over. That's nice. I'm hungry. I'm excited for that pizza. Thank you again, Yuri and Sarah. You two are too very kind. For the pizza. Mom is over there pouting because she's not getting in pizza. Okay, this is where we left off. We keep walking the direction away from the ocean. I have no idea where Kinsuke is planning to take me, but I'm beginning to realize something about this town. Kensuke, what's the significance of those? What's that, new guy? Those. I point at the clicking, spinning things. The windmills? The residential district is all around us, and almost every gate or porch have pinwheels decorating it. They're in many colors, red, blue, yellow, and violet. The sea breeze pushes through them, making a dry sound. Yomibito o yokeru tabi. They repel the yomibito. The yomibito again with world end? Oh wait, the yomibito again with world end? Also, the sound is probably really high right now, so let me fix that. No, game. Capture card, don't do the poppy stuff. I don't like that. Oh god, he's loud. Hey, it's obviously about the world end. The Yomibito legend was around a long time before that. It said the pinwheels keep Yomibito away, and the Yomibito bring misfortune, remember? I was born and raised here. But this town's bit had pinwheels for as long as I can remember. So, to us locals, this is nothing new. I guess it would be a little weird to a newcomer like you. Yomi Bito repelling pinwheels. <laughs> I always love the superstitious stuff. Okay, here we go. Look at that. There's a narrow, unpaved path ahead of us. A launch style building is there. The forest is to its back. The greenery in the background makes the scene endearing. The sign in front of it reads, Cafe Pasticha. Pasticha? I don't know if that's a giant spider running across my wall. I think it's a giant spider. I'm watching you. Now it's disappearing into the black. Ah! I don't like it. It stopped. Nope, oh, it's moving again. You come over here, I'm squishing you. Yeah, it's definitely a spider. If it was a fly or something, you would have started moving. Uh, uh, spider. If I see it, if it comes over here, I'm squishing it. Cafe Pastiche. Or Mew Cafe for short. Mew. Mew Cafe, why is- oh wait, Mew Cafe, why is that? There's that pop noise. There's an ocean cafe down by the boardwalk, it's the opposite of that. I'll tell you what about the employees later. The employees? Over half the students of our school commute by train, right? So the cafe by the station gets packed after school. 
This cafe is in the other direction from the station, so only local students come here. It's a hidden cafe. Uh, what? Not interested, huh? I didn't think this cool place was what talking about. He was talking about would be a cafe, so I'm a little shocked. Cafes are dope, dude. Don't be thinking this is any ordinary cafe now. This is a full body attraction. It leaves to me. Gotcha. All right, buckle up. Don't pass out now. Let's go. I follow the oddly excited Kensuke into the cafe. Welcome. An energetic voice comes firing out from the back of the room as we open the door. There's a man with long hair standing behind the counter. He must be the cafe's owner. You can grab a seat wherever you want here. Let's go sit over there. There are a decent amount of people already inside. I see some school uniforms too. There's nobody here! Is this because it's the demo? That there's nothing there, even though it says it is? We take a seat at the table along the wall and I open the menu. You don't need to see the menu. Or, you don't need to see the menu, Kensuke? I'm a regular here. I just ordered coffee, though. I look for coffee in the menu. 150 yen, tax not included. That's cheap. Right? I'm always broke due to love and relationships. This place is an oasis for a student like me. Aren't love and relationships the same thing? I held back from actually asking it, though. <laughs> what about this cafe is a full-body attraction, Kensuke? Just you wait. Wait and you shall be rewarded. It's a girl, isn't it? Kensuke, I have no idea what you're... There it is. Is it Miu? It's Miu in a maid outfit. Fantastic. For a moment, I forget how to breathe. Nope. Still not breathing. At least I don't think I am. <laughs> it's... Hey, Yamana! Coffee for me! Coffee. I think I was dazed for a good minute. Hey! Are you hurting anything? Keep looking over there for the spider. Mio Amane's. Amana's. Amane. Isn't that, um. Le girl from Soul Eater? Or, uh. Death Note? Mio Amana's eyes are captivating me. I'm utterly dumbfounded by them. He does have nice eyes. Uh, 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 cook, cocoa. I have no idea why I ordered a cocoa. 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 Alright, I'm not gonna say those because you obviously can tell she said cocoa. Why is it so starry suddenly? That's where. Also, she was slightly transparent for a second. Got it. She places two glasses of ice water on the table, then walks away to the counter without another word. Oh, I forgot to eat my chicken nuggets today, too. <laughs> what now, new guy? You get it now. You understand? That's right. This is Mio Amana's home. She works here in the cafe after school in that beautiful outfit. In this cafe, not only can you observe Amana's amazing gothic Lolita outfit, but you can also experience her voice. Her voice. Oh, wait. Her voice, huh? Now, do you understand why this place is known as Mio Cafe and why it's worth mentioning? Ding, ding, ding. Hey, Yamato, five iced teas, please. The door slams open and several female students come in. All of them are holding rackets. This must be the tennis club. One of them is more distinctive than the rest. Oh, yeah, cousin. Mm. What are you doing here? M Mimey. There you are, Mikes. You done with the club already? Oh, I'll be right back, guys. Mimey calls out to the rest of her club crew. Then she drops into her seat next to mine. She's giving me, giving off a perplexing scent. A citrus fragrance tinged with sweat. Ikes! You're the only one I know who can place an order even as you're walking through the door. Ah! It's just faster that way. Ah, it's so hot! Water, water! Oh, that's my... Uh, Miami chugs my entire glass of water. Ah, so revitalizing! The water of life! That was my water. Man, you two really... Wait. You two really get along, huh? Hasn't only been a few days? How did that even happen? 
Oh, I know. Kensuki, didn't you say you wanted to be a fashion designer in the city? Is that why you're doing beavering? Hey, 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 bikes! Don't talk about some dream I had when I was little. Little? You told me that last year. This dude tried to ask me out. He was telling me about his hopes and dreams. Mikes! Stop! Can you stop calling me that? It sounds like the name of some pop idol. Like, who was it? Have I met a Nikori? Nikori or whatever. I'm giving you an idol name. It's a sign of respect. Besides, I got tricked into asking you out. Tricked, huh? Who wouldn't be? When I first met her at school last year, I didn't think she'd be this sloppy. How rude. She says, pouring the remaining ice into her mouth and crunching noisily. She doesn't bum you? You live together, right? Did you think she'd be like this when you first saw her? In response, I say. Oh, flashback. Not really. Seriously? I'm alone in this? Am I the only one who fell for it? You guys are always so lively. New person. Oh, hey, Yamato. Looking cool as usual. Oh, stop it, Mayumi. Oh, I don't believe we've met. Oh, he's my cousin. We just kind of met too, in a way. Bebe Big Pap, nice to meet you. He's Yamato Amana. He owns a cafe. Dun, dun. Amana. 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 He's Mio Amana's older brother. Couldn't tell by the hair in the eyes. Oh. Here's your coffee and cocoa. Naimi, you wanted milk with your iced tea, right? You got it! Thanks, your milk tea is the best. Are you the newcomer? The owner gives me a puzzled look. Uh, yeah. I've heard as much from you. I heard you're in the same class. She's a little quiet, but I hope you'll be kind to her. Heard of me. Her Mio Amana? Hey, say something. Uh, y yeah, li li likewise. The owner smiles and returns to the counter. They're good looking siblings, but how can they be so different in attitude? Are you talking about Mew? She talks a lot, actually. Really? Why do you sound so surprised? You don't even know her. Anyway, I'm going to sit over there. Mommy stands up, glass and racket in hand. Oh, don't forget your cleaning duties today. Hey, what's with the deal you do anyway? While I watch Miami rejoin her group, I tell him. I'm just the cleaning dude. There was a dog. That you, I don't think you guys saw it. Might have been behind the webcams. Ah! I find myself lying on the couch in the porch. I must have fallen asleep. How did I teleport back to my house? A dream. I'm home. Huh? It sounds like Miami's back. I stand up and open the door to the living room. Welcome back. Miami is sniffing around with her eyes closed. Hey! What is that? Is that curry? Hell yeah, get some curry. I made a lot, you want some? Yes, yes, OMG! I'm so ready to settle for frozen pasta today too! That's impressive. Are you actually good at cooking? Curry's super simple. Doesn't it take a while though? Mmm, it smells so good! Anyway, time to dig in! Eat the takemasu! Have you eaten already? Not yet. Then let me fix you a plate. No, I insist. <laughs> you. Why did I say you? Mm, so good. I like the spiciness too. You don't put potatoes in either. If you have potatoes and rice in the same dish, that's just carbs on tops of carbs. My stomach can't take it. I like that you put corn in it. It's fitting for summer. Eggplant's good in the fall. Curry works in any season. I only really had packaged curry or school lunch curry. The best part about home curry is you can make all you want. 
おかわりいいかな。あ、oh.。Can I go for seconds? Sure, but. Sure, but what? You talk a lot. <laughs> is your family the shut up and eat type? Our family is never like that. We all sit and talk together at meals. Ah, there's plenty more. We can have some in the morning, too. Morning after curry is so good. She brings her second plate to the table. She immediately takes a bite. Good. Nothing. I feel like I've never seen you laugh like that. Is that weird? It's better that way. What? What? Just because I praise your curry a little. Uh, sorry. You don't have to apologize anyway. I guess you can be a little useful if you cook. Can you text me when you do? <laughs> Alright. So I haven't really made any decisions in this game so far. Makes me think this game is crazy long. My name is Vebe Big Pat. Nice to meet you. Oh, it just fast forwarded this nice. And now we have a new club manager. Please walk him through the first couple of days. Uh, Miss Yamashiro? Are these all the club members? The social studies study room is a modest size. We're sitting around the large table. There are only two members, me and her. I propose to start the Tribal Studies Research Club this spring, but, our, but it's not an official club just yet. Some of our members are doubly enrolled in other clubs too. Since this is a test run, I'm thinking five members max. Even so, there are only two people in front of me. Both of them look familiar. Okay, there are other people. One of our members is running late. No matter. Why don't you introduce yourself? You already know Mio, don't you? Oh, yes. Uh, ni nice to see you again, Amana. Same. And next to her, or. And next to her is. I can introduce myself! I didn't expect her to be here. I didn't expect her to be here, too. Hey! I forgot the voice I gave her. I am Saya Kamishiro from Class 1A. Pleased to see you again. I don't know you anything. That is all. Mm -hmm. I like when anime people's eyes do that. Uh, good to see you again. And there's one more, but I guess she isn't. The sound of running footsteps approaches from the hallway. Sounds like she's here after all. Sorry, I'm late. They wouldn't let me out of the tennis. Oh, come on. Huh? Why are you here? You're the last one. Screw it. I'm not going to try and pronounce it. My brain is not working. From class, two, or from class 2C, this is our newest member. Hi. Seriously? We're in the same club, too? Uh -huh. Do you two know each other already? I'm starting to think there's some kind of fate linking us together. I was going to say that. Hello? Did you say something? That's it for the introductions. I suppose, as you can see, it's mostly girls here. But I think you'll be okay. Miss Yamashiro smiles. But Miss Yamashiro, we've enjoyed a good balance with just us girls. Why invite a male student now? I thought this club was for girls only. The world contains both men and women. If you're concerned about balance, not having a male, here would be an issue. I'm scared the spider's gonna show up again. Well, I knew we'd have a guy in the club someday. Better him than someone like Kensuke, right? Oh, yeah. If you say so, Lady Mayumi. I withdraw my objection. Saya! Oh, wait, that's Mimi. Saya! Will you stop calling me Lady Mimi? It sounds like a mob boss. I don't know why, but it just clicks. Don't you think so too, Abuyu? Don't know. See? I knew you'd agree. Mew. Or, I knew you'd agree, Mew. So there, later, Mimi. Saya, you weren't going to listen to Miu no matter what she said, were you? I've actually spoken to one more freshman. I'll introduce them once I've confirmed that he's a member. 
You can talk to the club manager for details. Teddy will be. You individually. 